How far away from the golf ball should you stand with your golf clubs? This is something that I would see lots of golfers struggle with on the range, in lessons. I get asked this question all the time. In this video, I'll give you three different ways that you can attempt to get a much better distance from the golf ball. It's definitely something that golfers struggle with. This can take a lot of the self-doubt away. So you can step over the ball and be so much more confident that you are standing the correct distance away. So step one, what kind of distance do we want to try and be away from the golf ball and why is it important? Very quickly, it's, it's important because if we get this wrong, it can really restrict how the body rotates. So I think that's one of the reasons if it can get you good balance points, which helps you rotate properly. It can definitely affect swing plane. It can definitely affect how you maintain your posture throughout the golf swing. If you're very, very over the ball, you're probably going to struggle with a consistent spine angle. If you're very, very upright, same idea, you're going to really struggle with a consistent spine angle and that can really affect your contact. Three solutions to make sure that we are standing the correct distance from the ball. Solution number one that you can try out is you could stand really, really tall, hold your club out in front with just a little bit of flex in your arms, so they're not completely extended, but they're quite close. So you can start with your hands really straight and just relax the arms a little bit. From this angle here, completely straight and relax. From there, you just want a slight amount of knee bend, hinge forward from the waist until the club hits the floor, and that is that natural distance from the golf ball. From there, you can shuffle in, and you know that you're a good distance away from the ball. Just to repeat, really tall, arms completely extended and relax. So they just tuck in slightly, knees slightly bent, hinge forward from the waist until that club reaches the floor, shuffle into the ball slightly, and then go. And that is a really, really simple way of doing this. It works for all golf clubs, so you can try that from driver all the way down to your lob wedge and give that a try. So I would highly recommend that. This drill even works for your putter. The only difference being is you would pull your elbows slightly closer to your rib cage. So there, pull them in slightly more before hinging over from the waist. And what you would notice is you would be more over the golf ball with your putter than any other club in the bag. So really simple drill that you can try out if you're not sure how far away to stand. Drill number two, this one is also super simple. What you essentially want to do is you want to set up as you currently do. And what you would find is if you were quite far away from the ball, so that would be quite far away here. If we were to take our right hand off the grip and let the arm hang, the hand is inside the grip. So the hand wants to fall this way, which tells us that we're too far away from the ball. Likewise, in reverse, if we were very, very close to the ball and standing really, really close, if we take a right hand off the club, it wants to move forwards in order to hang underneath the shoulder. So that would tell us that we're too close. If we're standing a good distance from the ball, if we took our hand off the grip and just let the arm hang, it is in line with the grip. So from this angle, too far away, the hand wants to fall backwards towards you in order to hang under the shoulder. Standing too close, let the hand come off. It wants to move forward to hang underneath the shoulder. And if it's spot on, then it would just hang just beside the grip. So that is another way that you can find out. And again, this works right through the bag. This will give you a good guide whether you're standing too far away, too close, or a good distance away from the ball. And then third, it's a slight variation on the second one. So essentially what you can do is you could start with the posture. So you could go your feet shoulder width apart. Just let your club rest on your leg and do your posture first. So what you can do is you can set up, have a slight amount of knee flex, hinge forward from the waist and let the arms hang naturally under the shoulders. So they're just hanging. My hands would be under my chin. They're just going to hang there. From there, that's where we want to hold the golf club. That's our natural posture. So we're going to hold the golf club there. And then once we've done that, 
we can set ourselves up and shuffle into a golf ball and then we are good to go from there. So there are three really simple ways of getting the correct distance from the ball. Something to consider that's always worth doing when you're doing this. I would recommend that you also do this whilst practicing with face tape or some strike spray on the golf club just so you're getting good feedback of which part of the club face that you are hitting. So three ways to get the correct distance from the ball. Try out this try out these three. This will take out some self-doubt and that will get you more confident over the golf ball. If you like this video, make sure that you do all the really important things. Like the video, click that notification bell, subscribe to the channel so you do not miss any upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and see you soon.